Welcome to Huskies at Home, our digital interview series featuring key figures within UConn athletics, available exclusively on SNY.TV. This time we're excited to be joined by Director of Athletics, David Benedict. David, thanks so much for doing this. How have you been holding up during these uncertain times? Well, look, I, I'm, uh, I'm trying to do my best. Uh, obviously, uh, we're, we're all in a very similar situation. So we're all having uh, to, to meet the challenges uh, that are presented to us both personally and professionally. And, um, you know, while they're very unique to each of us, uh, we're, we're all kind of in this together. So um, the monotony of, of this uh, really has been probably one of the biggest challenges because in college athletics, you're so active, you're engaged with your coaches and your student athletes and your staff and your fans. And obviously that's not happening right now, um, except for on the phone and, and on these kind of video calls. Conference calls making up probably a good portion of your days. How much of your time is spent talking to your coaches versus talking to, say, NCAA officials or even government officials? A lot of conversations uh, daily, weekly. Uh, there's different things going on um, at different times. So obviously the fall sports are, are, you know, going to be upon us here pretty soon. So obviously lots of conversations uh, regarding that at a conference level. There's lots of conversations going about uh, scheduling uh, changes, you know, making changes to uh, non-conference uh, competition, regional scheduling, championships, all those things. So, look, you try to reach out and uh, talk both collectively to the group when there's things that are going to impact everyone the same. But then you've got to have those individual conversations with uh, with your coaches that, that are really going to impact them individually. So, um, yeah, no, hey, in some ways, I probably have had more conversations with my coaches um, in, in this environment because you, you're not going to just see people or be able to walk down the hallway or catch someone uh, in the morning for a cup of coffee. You, you've got to get on the phone or get on one of these calls, uh, which, which uh, from that standpoint, it's been good. But yeah, it, it's, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, the normality uh, coming back. We've talked to several of the UConn head coaches, and one theme has been just the difficulty in not having concrete answers for their players and staff. In your role, how tough has that been because things are changing so much? I, I don't like to speculate. I think there's a lot of speculation going on right now, um, but that's all it is. And look, this is a difficult time uh, already and a challenging time, stressful, anxious um, for, for a lot of our student athletes, especially. And I don't want to message things that might create more anxiety when we, we really don't know. And so look, uh, we're working very hard to plan, uh, which is, which can be difficult when you're planning, uh, without information. Uh, so we've just got to be ready for anything that comes our way. Um, I had a couple conversations this morning with people about, well, what if, the, the football season happens, but the, the conferences only play a conference schedule. And uh, obviously we're independent now, so that could impact us. And, you know, number one, that hasn't happened. That decision hasn't been made. Um, but if and when it is, we'll be ready and, and we'll, uh, we'll step up to the challenge and we'll figure out how to put a schedule together. I think right now it's just being about pro, being proactive from a communication standpoint, whether it's all staff meetings, head coaches meetings, individual meetings. We had a, a virtual happy hour last week, uh, which was great. Um, and, and so you're, you're just trying to be as proactive as you can. And then we have uh, what we refer to as sports supervisors because I can't, I can't be engaged at the level I need to with every single one of our sports. So we administratively have people that are working with our coaches too. So I'm relying on, on those individuals as well as our head coaches to, to do a great job of filtering the information to our student athletes. A big topic of conversation nationwide is the financial impact that the pandemic could have on college campuses and athletics. Do you have a real grasp of just how your sports department will be impacted financially? Well, again, we, we don't know because obviously our ability, at least for next year, I mean, this year we have a 
a better idea. And our fiscal year uh, runs from July 1 to June 30. So we're, we're getting close to an end of a fiscal year, but the majority of the revenue that we generate has already taken place. So we were not uh, severely impacted. If we generate approximately $40 million a year, the majority of that money was, was already uh, collected. Um, but next year, you know, if we go to a situation where we don't compete in any sports, it's going to be hard to generate uh, that revenue. Um, and so, yeah, we are running different types of scenarios, you know, uh, a scenario where we expect all of our sports to compete, but we don't expect uh, the same number of fans and the, to be able to sell the same number of tickets with the idea that maybe not everyone's going to be comfortable coming out to the events uh, without a, without a vaccine. Um, so we're looking at all of that, but yeah, it's anywhere from zero to um, probably something less than what we typically uh, are used to generating. You want to be sensitive uh, to your fan base. I mean, uh, everybody's going through, as we talked about, a challenging time. And, and you know, some are being impacted uh, by this in, in ways uh, that, that are going to hurt them financially. And so we, we really want to be clear with our fan base and our season ticket holders that we're going to do everything we possibly can to make sure that if we're fortunate enough to be able to uh, compete this year and have our season, that we want everyone to be able to continue to enjoy uh, our UConn Huskies, especially as we go into uh, the Big East. You know, there, there's a lot of excitement, a lot of energy around us returning to the Big East. And, you know, no one should be um, impacted even more uh, in a negative way that if they lost their job or if uh, somehow they were impacted financially and they can't afford to buy tickets and meet the deadlines, we've got to do what we can uh, to, to, make, to make it work for those people. As you plan for sports to eventually return, how do you feel about the possibility of these teams being able to start practicing both in terms of timing and safety? Well, it, it's, look, I, I want to put on a positive front, but it, it's daunting. I mean, uh, listening to the advice that's coming from the NCAA, from the chief medical officer, Dr. Hainline, listening to the folks uh, on our campus and in our uh, UConn Health. I mean, there's a lot to be done and there's a lot of hurdles that we're going to have to come. And look, there's some obvious things that have to be in place for us to safely bring uh, not just our student athletes, but our students back to campus. And testing is a big aspect of that. Um, uh, being able to provide all the people, whether it's our coaches, staff, sports medicine, you know, the, the proper uh, PPE uh, to, to protect and uh, protect both them and our student athletes. So um, while I, I remain very positive, uh, I'm very optimistic, you know, there, there's a lot to be done between now and, and the start of fall sports. But in saying that, we, we don't have a ton of time. I mean, we're, we're uh, close to the middle of May here, and we would normally be bringing students back uh, to, to begin summer session one or summer session two in June and July, and then you start, you start competing in August. So um, not a lot of time to get a lot of things done, but I'm, uh, I'm hopeful that, that we'll be competing. David, we appreciate your time so much. Thanks again for doing this. And uh, we hope to see you on campus again soon enough. Yeah, hey, thank you very much, Marie. I've always uh, looked forward to, to working with you and SNY. Uh, you guys do such a great job at, uh, you know, covering uh, at UConn Hus Husky Athletics. And I uh, can't thank you enough. So thanks a lot and go Huskies. Thanks for that. And that'll do it for our Huskies at Home series. We want to thank each of our guests for joining us and each of you out there for watching. Stay safe.